Attention, attention, if you live in the Atlanta area or will be traveling in the Atlanta area, a boycott is in order of Yumi's Japanese restaurant. So they denied this black man's service because he had on sneakers, yet this white woman ate there and she had on what? Sneakers, okay? The excuse that they came up with is that her sneakers was dress sneakers. Okay, and I say excuse that they came up with because I didn't hear that right away. It seemed like it took them a minute to come up with that one. But now, there is a dress code, and if you're going to put on your dress code that, you know, you can now wear sneakers, you need to either be hella petty and be very specific or be right and make it where nobody can wear sneakers i don't care if they got a little bling bling on them i don't care if there's air force ones it shouldn't matter see her shoes she's the one she does have one adidas shoes so that is something we can you understand again, once again look i'm used to white lady has on here. adidas i have on like you tell me i can't sit down that's not right he's saying that it's dress sneakers so i have are to they adidas sneakers but adidas sneakers could cover a wide range oh my goodness excuse me you all the place sir you can wear adidas so this man, for Sheed or Sheed, comes out just so happily when these people was outside. And he was leaving, supposedly. Um, he comes out, and he was very arrogant and very disrespectful. The black man was trying to talk to him and let him know what the problem was. But instead of being a business, uh, being professional, this jerk says to him, done, done, you know, and, and proceeds to walk away, talking to this man, this black man, like he's a child, okay? People need to be done, done with this man's restaurant and any other businesses that he has. No, sir, I own that. You own the place, yes, sir. You can wear to you. Adidas, but you can't wear Nikes. Sir, there's no Adidas, there's no Nikes, we just don't have sneakers. No Adidas, there's no Nikes, we just don't have sneakers. Do so somebody sneaker. inside has on Adidas, is that okay? Loud. I'm sorry, like I understand. No, 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 no. Like, does she have on a sneaker? Wine, sir. No, no, does she have on a sneaker? Who does? This lady at the bar, you own it. Come on, come on. Just, <laughs> I'm not going to have you on argument. There's no Air Force One, it's done. Oh, wow. See? And I don't want to hear no apologies later, you know, because it seemed like when racist people do things and they go viral and they're embarrassed then they come with the apologies but we all know that they don't mean it and also i would not want to eat at a restaurant where i know that these people do not like my kind that does not make any sense to me when people start messing with your money because you're racist then the apologies want to come out and then it's like oh i didn't mean it blah blah no I ain't trying to hear it <laughs> Now, I was reading some more, like, oh my gosh, it was his wife's birthday. Like, it was her birthday. They were coming there to have a nice birthday dinner, and this is how she was treated. So, maybe she'll get a nice little payout for her birthday since her birthday dinner was ruined. One, done. Oh, wow. See? You're a nigger at the end of the day. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I'm saying you're basically saying he's a nigger at the end of the day, and he can't be here. You see what I'm fucking wearing? Look like you're ready to even. Yeah, wow. wow. you are the owner of Umi, and you're allowing this to happen this at your crazy. establishment. I'm glad because a lot of black people come here, and I think you know that. Yeah, we've come here and spent thousands of dollars. Yeah, we won't. We definitely won't. We don't want to come to any of your restaurants. It's not done just because you say it's done. She had on the Adidas. I had on Nike. I can't come in. That's the problem. It was nothing else. That's it. I didn't say that. He's a done. I don't give a fuck. Who's the owner here? Okay, it's so right versus wrong. I don't care. I will. I will. What do you think is gonna happen? What do you think is gonna happen? What do you think is gonna happen? 
Okay, well, if you feel that way, that's fine. I can Owner, still he was that's like, you know, talking to the man's wife, like, what you gonna do with that? What you gonna do? Uh, this is what she done with that. She has exposed your ass, all right? Some ignorant people. I'm in here because you got patience. Yes, sir. That's fine. I'm fucking wearing off bikes, dog, with fucking Jordans. You got oh, I wear black oh, people clothes, so I'm straight. Shut the fuck up. Don't look at all. He's scared. He's scared. He's scared. He's scared. He's scared. He's scared. Look at him. He's scared. He's scared. I was seeing that several people have said that this place is known to be racist. So question, why are you guys still eating there? Like, it makes no sense. So as I was doing my video, <laughs> I come across this video that T.I. has gone to meet with the owners of the restaurant. Now, T.I., <sighs> listen. Listen, we have more serious issues to be discussing and to go sit down with a racist trying to save his ass, okay? You need to go sit down with people that need you a little bit more, not a man who is a racist. Not a man who will maybe be cool with you and nice to you because you have money. He knows you're a celebrity. He knows who you are. So he's going to be extra nice to you. We are presently sitting down with the owner of Umi, who, uh, had, who had the incident here. This is uh, Farshid. Hello, everybody. Okay, this is his brother, Farshad. We were 100% wrong at, at our operational and the way we handled the situation. Mm -hmm. And I'm mad enough to say it. Because I'm the one that did it. I'm still not going to eat there. I still wouldn't eat there. I, You know, you could go find. They can be replaced. Okay. You can go find other Japanese restaurants that treat you nice. You don't have to settle. You can go somewhere else. This is how you show them that no disrespect will be taken. But see, when people show you who they are, I'm sorry. I don't care about your apology. I don't care. I don't care. I don't want you fixing my food. So, you know, <laughs> the fuck? So, have some respect for yourself and don't go there no more. That's it. It got so bad that um, Yelp shut it down. Like, Yelp shut the reviews down you can't even make comments no more it is so crazy like i've seen where they have like boycotted other places before but i've never seen where you can't even go on yelp anymore and make any comments like i've actually seen like negative comments you know other people's stuff but no this has gone really bad for these people for this man and um yeah as it should don't go nowhere there's and what he could do better for himself or his business it wasn't about what's going on with us how i feel how i feel threatened how he, you know how he actually treats people from our community i know y'all friends with him he managed a lot of y'all rappers before him he knows all the celebrities in atlanta how they eat at all his restaurants this isn't going to do anything i have relationships with these people and i'm just disappointed like it took a long time for you to even respond to this. And I know it's in the city of Atlanta. You've seen it from day one, and I see why. And you, you never reached out to us, and that hurt. Tip is somebody I looked up to in the community. Killer Mike still hasn't said anything that surprised me. Everybody that at Tip, because he could have called first. A lot of people's been calling us. A um, couple city councilmen, I appreciate that, reaching out and trying to see what we could do. But where's the love with your own people first.